back on this fourth tutorial. Uh, I'm still on this article, so I try to replace uh, a front end made with Trimlight by a view, uh, a single page application uh, based on a front end on a fast API. So previously, I've shown simple things on how to handle view or vit. And this time we're gonna try to connect all together a view and a vit, uh, sorry, uh, vit and a fast API. So let's go, I'm gonna go in this directory, which is here in the same on my GitHub account. So I have a backend that will be made with Python and with Swift API and a front end made with view of it, sorry. So uh, let's get in this directory. So I'm gonna use a blue one for the vit. So I'm here and I'm gonna use a, a blue, uh, sorry, terminal and a black terminal for the fast APIs for the backend. So I'm gonna get there. So this time you see I'm using uh, an environment where you have all the fast API stuff install. This is this one. Uh, I'm no more on base and you can find the stuff inside. So for instance, if I need to deactivate and reactivate, you see I'm on base and then I will reactivate. So uh, basically I'm able to launch this uh, main file, which is uh, fast API. So let's do first, first thing first, I'm going to launch the front end. So we know by now where are the command. So I'm going to first install and second run, you see. So basically I can edit, so I can even edit with, uh, that should be this one. If I go in front end, so we are pretty familiar with this kind of element. I've keep this one. So let's say V3 YouTube to just to prove you that I'm working on this. Else you can see, I'm gonna launch it right now. And it's still, it's, it's empty because below what he's looking for, he's looking for with Axios. I'm loading Axios and he's loading and he's looking for this, um, this uh, endpoint. So this endpoint does not exist anymore and should be provided by the API. You see, it's empty. So, but I can still have, I'm um, still interacting with, you see, I'm still interacting with, with my front hand. Okay, so let's fire up the the uh, fast API. So the fast API, you know already how to use uh, environment with an Anaconda. So uh, what you have here, you have everything. It's right here. So you just launch this command, and it will fire up a very simple API that will provide a endpoint named Things. So I can for instance, cut and paste and go and see if it's working. So I would see the swagger things and you see that already these things exist. So it should be able to show up on my API. Okay. And you see I have a few endpoint. This one is a health check. Okay. It's just to check information if everything is okay. And you can see right here, this is simple get that will do the things like this. So you see he's loading just a JSON and we can modify very easily this JSON. I would say, let's say you have ID nine and that will be nine U cube. Okay, so he should be here. I should be, I should see this nine ex example nine, sorry, I did not change it properly. So nine, okay, if I reload, you have nine and I should see it on my, on my front hand. Okay, so basically I've managed to connect a fast API 
everything is made on locally because I don't want to use Docker or whatever. I want to keep it simple just to practice a little bit with, uh, so you have the fast API and you can, it's really easy to, to write down. And then we can think about more complex. We will see maybe in few other tutorial that is coming soon. So I have my front hand and I have my uh, API with uh, existing endpoint that shows things that are pretty simple. Okay, so let's cut everything. You just hit Control C, and then you can do the same thing here. Okay, so I will go maybe later in some other project uh, where it's much more um, sophisticated and we will go through uh, um, an increasing complexity. But what I want is that I want to show you that it's very really easy to, to grab and to get to grip with some complexity and to think about um, without knowing few things or except a basic command how to, to manage to build up an API uh, as a backend with fast API and a front end with Vue instead of Streamlight, for instance. But I will make some investigation on Streamlight later. See you then for the next tutorial. Bye bye. <laughs>